It's August 24, year 2007. Hello, Brian. Just got this shipment. It's a shipment through Hong Kong. Just got this uh, yesterday. Uh, here's uh, how they package it. It's a, they put the styrofoam. And that's the rotor blade. Okay, it's aluminum rotor blade. See? Hmm. This is a replacement. Looks like it's homemade. Um, looks good. Um, it's quite heavy. I am uh, using a weighing scale. This weight 850 grams, and the other one is 852 grams. Uh, it's only uh, two drums different. I guess uh, it won't affect the uh, the balancing. Too small to be detected. But one thing I found out uh, with this uh, this construction looks good. But if you look at uh, carefully, look at this linkage. They use a two-piece aluminum. Two-piece aluminum, and they join it together using a rivet, which is uh, quite dangerous <laughs> because the original Mini 500 using a single-piece aluminum. I'm just worried about the the joint. Maybe this is used for temporary. It can be, or you're using as a toy. But considering uh, I'm going to fly this helicopter, I'm quite hesitate to use this rotor blade maybe for testing only but I'm not going to bet my life on this uh, tail rotor <laughs> if you notice uh, it's using a, a two joint and the joint is connected to uh, some kind of a rivet yes, maybe a uh, force fit it it's a uh, really uh, dangerous plan trying to use this one and one more Thing they use is quite heavy because uh, they use uh, the whole piece aluminum from here to here. A single piece aluminum. If I'm going to do this by myself, I would make a lightning hole. Maybe a punch a hole here, maybe three hole, three hole, three hole to make it light. But it looks good. And one more problem they use uh, too many rivet in here. Oh. Too many ribot, ribet. <laughs> Imagine 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 ribet. Okay, 7, 12. And look at, this, look at the ribet. No? This ribet costs uh, a lot of drag. Imagine. I guess the, the original using only 3 ribet. 1, 2, 3. Okay. Looks good, but. Uh, I hesitate uh, uh, to use this one. Maybe, maybe I will look, look for a friend to build me another one using a single piece, uh, single piece uh, aluminum. The only problem is getting the material. We need to find a dural, uh, dural aluminum. It's an air trap grade aluminum. Okay. So I just want to show you how the the blade look like. Thank you. Okay, let me give you a, a full detailed view of this blade. Hello. Mm. See? There's a joint, a joint. Okay, if you can see it, joined by the, a rivet or some sort of a, maybe a, they press fit it. Okay, this is very dangerous. <laughs> if I'm going, if I'm, I'm not, if I'm the pilot, I might quite hesitate to fly this helicopter. Imagine the joint. See, and uh, look at this. It's very weak, considering there's a hole here. The only thing that will holding this uh, blade is this uh, th uh, small gap. See? This is what I'm worrying about. Uh, okay. And one more thing, the way they, they drill a hole, it's not center. Okay.
it's not center it's offset and if you look at the other blade it's also not centered it's offset let me show you the two blade okay let me show you the two blade okay <laughs> I don't blame the builder. This is look like a homemade homemade tail rotor blade. Okay, this is a little bit centered. But this the the lower one it's offset by a few I guess it's about of 1 mm offset. Okay. Mhm. Mm and let me show you the rivet how they rivet it. <laughs> Okay, look at the rivet. There's so many rivet. There are 16 rivets. Okay, and let me show you the okay. The foil's okay. Foil. Look like I can build one by myself. I can build a better, a uh, better blade. Okay. Or one more thing, maybe I can just uh, remove the, uh, change this uh, the bone and replace it with a single piece aluminum. But the shape's okay. Okay. That's about it. This replacement tail rotor is one point seven seven two drums. 1.772 kilograms and the original tail rotor blade of mini 500 is one kilograms uh, so it's about uh, 0.772 so let's let's assume it's about uh, 800 800 grams heavier so this means we have to add uh, a lead weight in the nose so let's assume the the distance from the tail rotor shaft to the main rotor mass is four times four times longer than the distance from the tail rotor shaft uh, from the mast to the nose it's four times longer this means we have to add four times more weight so assuming if it's, it's 800 grams heavier this means 800 grams times four that's about 3.2 kilograms so we have to add 3.2 kilograms uh, lead weight the nose to make it balanced so I guess it, it, it's also uh, workable I'm just worried about this uh, the weight's not a problem it's only uh, it's only 3.2 drums heavier and I'm weight about uh, 60 kilograms the weight is considered uh, negligible I'm more concerned about this joint this is my only concern my life is depend on this joint <laughs> okay so I can use this maybe for the test purposes, but I'm not going to fly this with uh, with this kind of a uh, tail rotor blade. It's a uh, very dangerous. I'm sure somebody might have already used this one, but uh, when the time comes, you may not know when when this will fail. Okay. So that's it. Maybe I will ask my friend to make me another one. <laughs>